Hey guys, it has been a minute. It's been, I don't know, weeks, months, I don't know how long it's been, but I have so many things to record. I don't know how I'm going to finish. The amount of shopping I have done this past two months is disgusting. It's disgusting and I just want to show you guys everything so I could put it away. I, I want to go on a strict no buy because the amount of products I have is just disgusting. I want to empty it out. My candle collection, this used to go up about four rows. I got rid of about 40 to 50 candles. I'm trying to declutter my life. So what I'm basically going to do is in the next few videos, I'm going to take everything I purchased and put them into like huge collective hauls instead of doing like individual like 40% off sale, buy one get one free sale, all these different sales. I'm putting them all together and just giving you just long videos. So I do post them on TikTok basically when I get them because it's so easy. I'm not really like an in front of camera type of person. I like being behind the camera. So TikTok is easy because I could just like Put it out, record it, and show you guys what I got. So if you guys do want to follow my TikTok, you will see all my hauls there, like literally when I get the packages. I think I'm going to start with my Bath & Body Works because I still have the box I have to unbox. I was just away on a weekend trip with my BF. Now I'm back and I do have a couple boxes piled up, so I have no idea what I even ordered. Guys, by the way, I'm filming on my new MacBook. My MacBook was already new to begin with, but I just got a new one. I don't know. So I'm trying to, I'm filming on it and... The quality looks pretty decent. I didn't feel like setting up my phone, my tripod, lights, all that stuff. Before I do get started with my Bath & Body Works video, I did get a little package from Miss Dossier. So they reached out to me and they want to send me one of their perfumes to show you guys. And I was intrigued because I have seen a couple of our people on the, in this community talk about it. So I was really intrigued to try them out myself too because the prices. So the scent I chose from Dossier is actually their floral grapefruit because it's supposed to be a dupe for the Chanel Chance perfume. And I actually have the Chanel one, so I, I chose this one to see how close in comparison they are. These are $29 for designer smells. You can't beat that, because I don't know how much these are. They're like 100, 150, they go up to 200. Depends on the sizes you get, right? So to compare 150 plus to $29, you guys, I'm so excited to smell this to see how close it is. It comes looking like this. A little card in it with the scent note. By the way, guys, the best part is you can return or exchange these anytime you want. So if you get a smell, because you know, it is blind smelling. You're just ordering it online and it's coming to your door. If you don't like the smell, you can return it. No hassle, no problems. You can return it. You can exchange it anytime you want. Win-win, price, win, return policy, win. Let's see if it matches up to Chanel. Do Chanel. Oh, I love this smell so much. You guys, I was going back and forth between should I get a new smell or should I get a smell I have so I can compare it? But I thought I should get a smell I have so I can compare it and give you guys the best to let you guys know, hey, it does smell like it. So if you did want Chanel, let's see if this matches. Okay. Oh, this smells so good, guys. Oh, okay. Well, I don't exactly know how to explain the smell. It's just expensive. It smells sweet. It smells expensive. I love, this is my favorite um, perfume, by the way. The Chanel Chance is my favorite one. So now let me compare it to their floral grapefruit. Uh oh. <gasps> okay. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say it's spot on. However, it's dang near right on the dot. I would say the difference is the Chanel is a little bit sweeter, like the tiniest bit sweeter. Yeah, the Chanel is a tiny bit sweeter. If I didn't have the Chanel next to me, I would literally think this is the Chanel chance. It's almost almost right on the dot guys they are, smell so similar to each other i'm actually super impressed because they smell so similar anytime you can return anytime you can exchange guys i would say go on the website look around see if anything catches your eye i do have a discount code for you guys it's 10 percent off of your order so you know a perfume is 29 dollars plus you get 10 percent off and the discount code is 10 erica i will also 
type it out or something just 10 e-r-i-c-k-a to get 10 percent off you guys try it fitting e here it's been five or six hours since i filmed that first video with the dossier comparing the chance with the dossier one guys i can tell you right now what is it five six hours later they smell identical identical i don't know if it was first with that the chance i remember i said it was a little bit sweeter now that it's settled into my skin chemistry they smell the same and it's still here it's still here it's been five six hours it's still here they smell just the same hey guys so let me get into my bath and body works haul like i said i do have an unopened box which i will open right now plus i have a lot of smells to get, get through if i remember which sale it was i'll mention it definitely but let me just first go ahead and get started with the bar of soaps i got all of no not all of them i'm lying i got those smells i liked so i got vanilla coconut i got gingham i got eucalyptus spearmint wakiki beach coconut and bahamas bahamas passion fruit and banana flower so got all of these this daisy i believe this was during the 40 percent off sale if i'm not mistaken but i got this daisy candle holder cute i also got this hexagon candle holder maybe you can see more on this side uh, i believe i also got this during the 40 percent off um sale two hibiscus shimmer body oils i believe this might have also been during the 40 percent off sale got two of those next sale i believe i got when they brought back the 650 retired smell french lavender and honey paris arm amour i got whipped vanilla chiffon got velvet sugar which smells like oh sweet <laughs> Mmm. Oh, this smells good. This was my first time smelling this, by the way. It's not overly sweet. I was scared to get velvet sugar because I thought it was going to be one of those cavity sweet smells like bubblegum, cotton candy, but it's not. It's actually not that sweet. I mean, it is sweet, but not that type of sweet. It smells really good. I really, really like this. I was happy I picked this up. I also picked up Paris Amar. Why do I keep saying Amar? more in the spray so i have the lotion now i have the spray by the way guys i think i'm going to start collecting these a little bit more than the ultra creams because i know those go bad so quick and we can never finish them in time and these last way longer so i'm going to try and start getting these more than the um than the ultra shea moistures sorry i'm all over the place <laughs> amore is supposed to be a dreamy blend of french tulips and a pop of pink champagne oh oh i like this too yeah i think that's a great description it's floral and i definitely smell the champagne so really good smell definitely pick it up if it's 650 or even if it's lower i would definitely pick up paris amore also so definitely like this one mad about you oh Mad About You smells fresher than the other two. It's sweet again. Let's see. Yeah, I, I like this scent too. I don't know why I never had these, but I just decided to pick up all the retired fragrances. I never had these in my collection. And I can't see why people like this. It smells good. It's sweet. It's fruity. I really like this one also, Mad About You. If you're thinking about it, pick it up. And the last one I got is the Whipped Vanilla Chiffon. You guys, I wasn't really that big of a fan of this. Oops, I totally missed the cap. It's not a bad smell, but compared to the other two, this is like, an, eh, this is kind of something I would possibly return, but I never return anything, so I'll probably stay in my collection until I get tired of it and I'll give it to someone. But it's just, eh. I can smell vanilla kind of it smells like vanilla breath that's what it sounds like to me i don't know if that makes sense but yeah it's just pick this up too and before i open my box of things i totally forgot what i even purchased uh the last little set of items i picked up was like the new collection that just came out so i did pick up sunshine mimosa in the 24 hour moisture cream and the Sun sunshine mimosa fine fragrance mist i need to slow down and just talk or speak 
So this smells, according to the internet, really good. Let's see. By the way, guys, I think I mentioned in my intro, but I was away on a trip and I've been working and stuff. So a lot of these smells I haven't even smelled before. I've just had them sitting. Oh, okay. Yeah, it literally smells like sunshine mimosa. The first scent I get is like an alcoholic beverage, which is the mimosa and the citrus. So definitely smells good. I understand the hype. Oh, yeah, guys, that smells really good. I understand why everyone was going crazy over that smell. It smells really good. I also did pick up Confetti Daydream. I picked up the Fine Fragrance Mints and the Body Lotion. And I really love the packaging of this, guys. I love the color where it's like, it's like a pink, purple hue. It's white in some angles. It's pink in some angles. This one did catch me off guard. Confetti Daydream. I was thinking birthday cake. I was thinking sprinkles. I was thinking just a different type of smell. However, this is fresh raspberries, sparkling pear, and blue iris. So way different than what I was imagining. But I remember liking the smell. I don't remember anymore. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's a very, like, berry, like, I don't want to say champagne toast. It doesn't smell anything like champagne toast, but I, it's not along the lines of confetti daydreams where you think of cake. It's more along the lines of berries and... I wouldn't even say fruity, it's just it's just berries. But it smells good. I like it. Two mini candles. I got one in pistachio ice cream and one honeysuckle bouquet, pistachio ice cream. If they need to do this in a three wick candle. It smells nutty. It smells creamy. Guys, this one is really good. The pistachio ice cream smells really good. I really enjoy this one. Honey suckle bouquet. Let's see. This one's florally. It's like a clean floral smell. Very spring. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of floral. That's why I'm just like, yeah, but it does smell good if you like floral. This is heavy. Oh. And then another box. I haven't opened this one yet. I have no idea what order I put in. No idea what sale this is from. Girl, just no idea, period. No idea when I ordered this stuff. Oh my god, I have no room. I see a shitload of fine fragrance mints. I have no room. Oh. Oh. I did not remember ordering this, guys. So I got this. This was a $6.50 sale, guys. So everything in here was $6.50. No, everyone complains about this, but stop sending us this guy, Bath & Body Works. We don't care. We want coupons. Obviously, I haven't smelled any of these because I just opened the box in front of you guys. I didn't realize I got another Sunshine Mimosa set. Um, Giveaway time, I guess. I don't know if I had a giveaway in thought, but guys, I'm do I don't need two of these because literally I just hauled the one I sprayed. So, and I purchased one I guess so is there anything else in there oh actually guys stay tuned to the end of this video for a giveaway because I do see another smell in there that I know I'm not gonna like and I'll put that in the giveaway as well so I'm gonna put this to the side right now so I did pick up another sunshine mimosa spray and cream I'm putting this to the side because I'm gonna have it for a giveaway guys so please keep watching if you want to enter that giveaway let me go into this because I see another product I want to put in the giveaway. So pick up the Sunshine Mosa lotion, so that's good. I picked up Tahiti, I oh, Tahiti Island Dream. Let's see what this smells like. I have no idea what these smell like. And again, they were six fifty. Ooh, guys. Oh, I like this. Mmm, this smells. Oh, I sprayed on myself. You guys, this smells like vacation. Mmm, this smells like vacation. It's kind of citrusy to me. I don't know what the scent notes are, guys. I'm just guessing, but it smells kind of citrusy, kind of sweet, but it smells like vacation to me. This cashmere glow because I see Jasmine talking, Jasmine on here on YouTube, Jasmine Bolar. She talks about the smell often, if I'm not mistaken, and the way she describes smells, guys. If you don't watch Jasmine, please go watch her. I'll link her down below. The way she describes smells, she will sell you on anything. She'll sell you, like, she could pick up a piece of grass on the floor and describe the smell so perfectly and make you want it. So, a couple of these scents are inspired by her because she just sold me. 
she just sold me like so this one was one of them cashmere glow let's see what this smells like mm. yep this is very like sweet sexy warm oh this smells good guys cashmere glow it's like a warm sexy smell I like this a lot. Great pickup, cashmere glow. Picked up the matching lotion because, like I said, guys, I do want to come. I do want to switch to lotions slowly because those things are gonna expire in no time. Another hibiscus paradise shimmer oil. So now I see that I have three. So guess what, guys? Giveaway. Oh, my giveaway is adding up. I picked up black amethyst. Where's the cap on this? So okay. Here's my thing. I am not a floral person. However, peony are peonies are my favorite flower ever. Peonies, everything. Anytime I see peony, I pick it up. Peony is my weakness. Peony has my heart to the end. So this one, fragrance notes are peony petals, sweet sandalwood, patchouli, and creamy amber. I picked it up solely because of the peony. I have no idea what it smells like. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, I definitely, the first thing I smell is the patchouli. You guys, this is very perfumey, nighttime, again, sexy, florally. This is a good pickup. I feel like I don't see that many people talking about this, but it very much smells like a nighttime perfume to me. Very sexy. Kind of musky, too. Mm. Uh, sensual Amber, I believe... I'm not sure, but I believe Jasmine also talks about this. And I got the matching um, body lotion as well. The keynotes are golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandalwood. Oh, it's on the back here too. So that's cool. So some of them have the fragrance notes on it. Some of them don't. Oh. Wow. Oh, sorry. That was a weird reaction. Mmm, this smells... Yo, sensual, sensual amber, guys. I know this this has been out forever, but I've never smelled it before. The first thing I picked up is orange, by the way. But it's a very, it's a very, like, again, perfumey type of smell. Golden amber, smelled amber, wild berries. I'm not sure if I pick up the berries, but I definitely pick up the orange and the creamy sandalwood. Yo, where, why have I never smelled these before, guys? This smells delicious. Oh, this smells delicious, guys. Sensual Amber. I'm so happy I picked these up. Shout out to Jasmine because she does not steer anyone wrong. Fresh Cut Lilacs. This is the one I'm assuming I'm not going to like. I'm not even going to spray it. Because here's my assumption. I got the candle of this and it was overwhelmingly floral for me. And I was just like, can't do it. I gave the, I gave the candle away. I'm not even going to spray this going straight into the giveaway pile because it's not mine to spray. So straight into the giveaway pile. The, ne oh. the next one I have is Be Enchanted. This one is Ice Pomegranate, Sugared Petals, Chilled Passion Fruit, Whipped Vanilla, and Light Musk. Be Enchanted. I've heard about this one from a few YouTubers as well. Yo, I keep missing the cap. Okay. Mmm. Pomegranate. First smell that I smell is pomegranate. Sweet, let's see. Sweet, mmm. I do smell a light musk. Ew, this smells really good. Be enchanted. This kind of takes me back to like high school days, like 10, 15 years ago. I'm old. Not that old. I'm old. So it kind of reminds me of PE locker rooms, like when we all had like the sweet pee. Or like the love spell. I don't know why it's taking me back to those days. That's kind of what it reminds me of. But it smells good. Mmm. This smells really good. I like this. I don't know why it's reminding me of a pee locker room. But it smells good. Don't, it, don't think of it as sweaty locker room. Think of it as just like the love spell sweet pee era. Remember Bath and Body Works is having a 650 sale. And scrubs are on there. Pick it up. Pick it up. Scrubs are the best value. So this one is in... You're the one. It's $18.50, guys. We got it for $6.50. So this is the Sparkling Body Scrub. And you're the one. We all know this smell is bomb. Oh. 
smells like it. It's um, I'm not sure how I feel about the glitter aspect of it, but it's still a body scrub, so I'm happy. Also picked up Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower and the Sand Scrub or whatever. Oh, Sand and Sea Salt Scrub. Picked that one up, $6.50 again. Guys, these are what I was excited about. Picked up the Relaxing Seaside Breeze and Sandalwood Eulip Eucalyptus. Let's see. Oh, this is heavy. Guys, right, so this one was $16.50. I picked it up for $6.50. Again, scrubs. Always pick up scrubs when it's on sale. Oh, it's closed, guys. Can't tell you what it smells like, but it's a body scrub. It's relaxing. It is Seaside Breeze. And I also got the medita Meditative in Ocean Waves. Let's see. Closed again. But yeah. I also got two cracked heel treatments. I'm going to give one to my mom. I got sleep in lavender and vanilla. I'm going to give this one to my mom because I don't like um, vanilla. I mean, oh, I love vanilla. I don't like lavender. So I'm going to go ahead and give this to my mom. And then I got stress relief, eucalyptus, and spearmint for myself. These are cracked heel treatments. Never tried these before, but they were $6.50. So I picked up. Oh, it's open. Yep, yeah, it just smells like eucalyptus and spearmint. It's for your cracked heels, guys. I hear a lot of good things about these um, heel treatments, so I'm excited to try them. I did buy a bunch of candles from them, but I don't feel like showing them. I do have little nitbits here and there. Like, I did pick up, uh, where are they? Like, little travel size stuff, and I don't feel like showing those. I did pick up, like, the hand sanitizer pocket pack um, holders with the dog, with the doggy bag and the dog in the front. I did pick up like little nimbucks here and there, but I don't feel like gathering everything to show you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try and be better about showing off my hauls right when I get it so I don't get in the situation where I have 15 hauls to show you in one video. But that was it for my Bath & Body Works haul. Let me get into my giveaway, guys. So I see four products in my giveaway. So the first one is the Fresh Cut Lilacs you'll be receiving. You'll be receiving a Hibiscus Paradise Shimmer Oil. Sunshine Mimosa Fine Fragrance Mist. Sunshine Mimosa 24 Hour Body Cream, guys. Woo! Okay, so it's gonna be plain and simple, guys. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Let's see. I want it to be just as simple as possible. What's as simple as possible? Okay, what is your all time favorite Bath and Body Works scent? I feel like that seems easy, right? So what is your all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scent? So comment that below and then I'll just pick one of you guys and you'll receive all of these. If you guys want a bonus entry, you can go ahead and follow my TikTok and leave an emoji on my TikTok and then I'll do like a little cross-reference and it'll be a bonus entry for you. That's only if you want. TikTok is obviously not mandatory or anything. The only one is to subscribe, thumbs up, and comment your favorite scent. I mean, I guess you can leave your favorite set on my TikTok so that way I'll know you're coming over from my YouTube. Again, TikTok is just a, a bonus entry. But yeah, if you guys want to win these products, go ahead and leave that comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have like three, four more hauls to record. I have my tree hut. I'm also doing a tree hut giveaway in the tree hut video. So if you want to stay tuned for that one, I have a Victoria's Secret haul coming up. I'm a mess. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.